Uh, so I'm delighted to now be joined by Graham Stringer, the Labour MP, not so far from here, uh, who, of course, has been following the developments, the twists and turns in this race. And, and uh, Graham Stringer, just from your perspective, as an opposition member of Parliament, what's your view of the race so far? And does it feel like it's dragged on a little too far? I can certainly agree with that. I think since uh, the Conservatives reduced it to two uh, candidates, uh, it's, I think it's under four weeks ago, it seems more like four months uh, that uh, they've been uh, debating. It's been too long. Uh, the country's in a state of uh, limbo. There are huge problems uh, to be faced uh, and the government's uh, gone to sleep. So that's, that's very worrying as well as it being uh, a, a long uh, process. Watching it as a disinterested, in one sense, a disinterested uh, party, I think, let's put it politely, uh, the, neither of the candidates have shown themselves to be statespeople. They've been appealing to the sort of lower prejudice of Conservative Party uh, members and not dealing with the huge issues that face this country. All over the public services, we can see they're in a state of uh, crisis, inflation is increasing, uh, there's a war going on in, in Europe. And these candidates are appealing to the prejudices. They've both uh, be made statements that were anti-North. Uh, Rishi Sunak went to Kent and said he may ensured that the affluent parts of Kent got more money than the poorer parts of uh, the North of uh, England List Trust has said that one of the reasons that the country's productivity was low because workers in the north of England were lazy. Uh, I mean, that is not what one expects from, because one of these people will be Prime Minister in, in three weeks or so. That's really low level politics. Now, of course.